Hey yo, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to my channel everyone, where I talk about eye-catching art and eye-catching things. Now today is um, my first time doing a vlog regarding my photography. And in today's video, I'm playing around with a couple of things, uh, one old and one new. A person just walked by and I had to stop vlogging and I'm still a little bit insecure with uh, vlogging with people around. But yeah, today's video will be focused on a very old digital camera that I have, which is the Leica Digilux 2. And I've also recently gotten a wireless lavalier mic, uh, which you're hearing right now. Up until now, I've been using a Rode a shotgun mic, which just mounts up on my camera which is a very nice quality, but um, I did find that, you know, the depending on the angle that I face uh, to my left or to my right, or how far I was from the mic, um, the quality changes. Now, hopefully this lavalier mic will give me a bit more consistency in terms of the sound quality. So I'm out and about today in a park um, close by where I live. And uh, today is such a beautiful snowy day. Now we've been having a fairly mild winter and um, as you can see, Father Winter just joined the chat. And I've just finished with my niece and nephew helping them out with their um, class online. So I just snuck out real quick to do this vlog and uh, be able to enjoy this uh, beautiful snow and um, also be able to capture some images. Now I do miss photography and I think today is a very nice day to be able to just, you know, casually walk around and uh, take some shots of this beautiful place. Now this video is definitely not a tech review of any sort and um, I really just uh, really miss shooting with my Leica Digilux and I wanted to test out um, these couple of things that I've added on to my vlogging setup. It's going to be more of a real world sharing review if that makes any sense and I'll be listing all of the equipment that I'm using right now in the description down below and um, I'll just leave it to the experts to do the, the tech reviews of these products. Oh, and by the way, I just got this lens adapter. It's called the Viltrox uh, EF2M mount. Now, it's pretty cool because first it lets me use my old uh, full frame lenses uh, from my other cameras, but also it widens and magnifies the field of view so that you get like this really wide shot. And um, that also helps with stabilizing the camera, which is very appropriate for vlogging. So I'm quite excited about that. Now, the other thing is that I got um, on the lens right now, which is a Canon 16 to a 35 millimeter uh, f2.8 L lens. And on it is this uh, neutral density filter. And if you don't know what that is, it basically just um, provides like uh, sunglasses for your lens, which is awesome if you have lenses like uh, this lens with a very shallow aperture, uh, which basically just makes your background blurry and you'll be able to use that. And um, if you know photography, you use a wide aperture to get that background blur, um, it's going to be way too bright. So these uh, lens sunglasses are a big help. And let's, um, let's just show you what it does. And it's got what's called a variable uh, density. So depending on how I turn it, it can go darker just like that to lighter as you can see. So that's pretty cool. This part that I'm venturing into right now is uh, by Finch and Leslie close to my area. And um, it's just by the uh, Dawn, Pretty steep right now, going downwards. Pretty windy right now too. And I don't have any wind muffs or anything on the microphone system. Um, so I'd be really curious to see how it's doing in this pretty extreme condition. Now this is pretty much the very first time that I'm here during the winter. My family and I like to come here during the warmer months in the summer. But before we get down the river, I'd like to take a couple of snaps of this eye-catching tree. Look at this magnificent tree. Oh, sh That's bug. That's mud right there. Yeah, I forget that um, it's actually swamp where I'm standing right now, so that wasn't very smart. So a little something about the camera that I'm shooting with today, which is the Leica Digilux 2. Now, I think it was released in 2003 or 2004. I'm mean, gonna have to double check, but in tech years, that is ancient. So yeah, it's a 16 to 17 year old camera. And um, yeah, that's like somebody's teenage kid, but not as temperamental. This 
quiet its age, it's um, actually really nice and I, I still to this day um, enjoy shooting with it. Now, it's got a very filmic feel, meaning that the shots it produces is reminiscent of uh, the look that some film would give you. But um, also just the way mechanically, uh, the way it works is very much reminiscent of an analog camera. So yeah, it's very old school. And what I mean by that is just the way you operate the camera. And to be able to switch, for example, the shutter speed, you would have to physically dial it in um, on that dial on the right side there. And um, what's cool about this is that the aperture controls are right on the lens. It's a very nice lens ranging from a 28 uh, to 50 millimeter or sorry 90 millimeter equivalent um, equivalent to a full frame camera that is and so it's got a nice range to be able to do landscapes uh, and of course portraits. Okay, I'm getting kind of slightly scared uh, because my equipment is getting kind of wet with all the snow and it's um, kind of melting up on it. Now, Thurston Overguard, the Leica aficionado, did shoot with the Leica Digilux in a very harsh and extreme conditions during a winter in the Faroe Islands. So uh, hopefully um, it's able to withstand this um, pretty extreme condition um, and that it wasn't just false advertising. But the quality is actually really nice, especially when you're shooting in RAW. And um, it holds a lot of detail. And by the way, this camera is only about a five megapixel uh, camera. Yeah, let that sink in. Your phone has a lot more megapixels. But what's special with it is that it uses an older uh, Leica sensor, the CCD sensor. And from my understanding, and I'm not gonna even attempt to explain it scientifically because I won't be able to do a good job, but CCD sensors are known to uh, pack a lot more information in their pixels, so it's got a, a heavier density in terms of the data, and thus uh, the quality is also going to be um, a lot more relative to, of course, the more used uh, CMOS sensors. Pixel cells in CCD sensors have a common connection for sending data to the image processor, and because circuits are shared, the readout speeds are slower, but this minimizes electrical interference producing cleaner pixels. CMOS sensors, however, have dedicated circuits between each pixel cell and the image processor. This results in faster readout speeds, but increased amp glow interference causing noise artifacts to appear in images, degrading the image quality. But with new improvements in CMOS sensors, amp glow is becoming less of a problem. Ooh, it's really windy right now, let's just um, hide behind this tree for a sec and hopefully I don't fall. Okay. Okay, enough nerd talk and not even a very scientific nerd talk, but finally here we are, this beautiful river. Let's check it out. How about we go down there and have a closer look and take a couple of shots. How's the image stabilization by the way? I'm just um, holding onto this mini tripod that's mounted um, on the bottom and uh, the lens is not um, image stabilized or anything like that but it is wide so like I said earlier I hope it's kind of doing a pretty good job of stabilizing the shot. Ooh, duckies. I'm not equipped with any of my long telephoto lenses right now which is too bad. The camera that I'm shooting with right now, which is the Canon M50, uh, shooting with the video that is, um, does have some sort of stabilization. It's not the best, uh, but the camera body has an electronic stabilization system. I'm not sure what that is, but a little tiny animal there, I don't know. It looks just like a dot here, but I'm not too sure. Definitely not a beaver. Anyway, it's kind of useless. I'm too far. It's too small in the screen. Moving along. But that water sure sounds nice, doesn't it? OK, 
Okay, let's get some cool structural shots. So yeah, this is actually part of the East Don River. Hella power lines, power lines everywhere. More river sounds. Uh, I really hope you can hear this. It's really nice and soothing, isn't it? Uh, it's really nice and um, I'm really fortunate to be able to do this and live in such an area where I have a, uh, a place like this to come visit. And um, I think it's really important, especially with what's going on right now, uh, for the most part, we can't be moving around all too much as, um, as we used to and um, some of us are stuck at home and I think being able to uh, find yourself in a place like this and just enjoy simple things is uh, really important for us right now. The owl up in that branch there. It's a beautiful owl. Yeah. Just flew in. Now I really wish I had a longer lens for this. So yeah, that was, uh, I don't know what type of owl that is, um, but yeah, that was really cool. I really wish I had a longer lens for that. Um, but yeah. Now, if you guys had like parts or a place where you can go for a nature walk close by, um, go for it. Especially when it snows like this, it's just beautiful. Um, you know, just dress up nice and warm and uh, get yourself in nice boots. I'm not really like a nature photographer or a landscape photographer or anything like that. So, I mean, those shots are, uh, weren't extraordinary or anything like that. But still, it's nice and uh, very enjoyable to be able to just walk around and take leisurely shots of uh, some nature but I'm on my way home now to uh, pick up my niece and nephew and uh, we're going to go by a local hill to do uh, some tobogganing I promised them I'd take them tobogganing so and I'm going to take that opportunity to uh, test out the old Leica and uh, see how it fares with uh, very fast moving children let's go hello Nobody else here. Don't have to worry about social distancing. Now it's getting uh, pretty dark now, but I think we'll be all right. Um, well, this video camera will be all right. I don't know about this old old Leica though, but we'll see. Boo boo, you guys can climb to the side. See on the side, it's easier. And then you can go to the middle and slide down off the middle. Well, only one at a time. Okay, this is going to be a real challenge because I would need to brighten up the shots in this dark situation. But anything higher than 100 ISO sensitivity gets too grainy on this camera. I can't even slow down my shutter speed too much because movements will be way too blurred. Natalie, how was it? <laughs> and I can forget about using the very slow autofocusing system, so I have to bust out the flash and pre-focus the shots manually. <laughs> oh, Lucky's going so fast! Oh, Lucky! That was super fast! How was that? Okay, Lucky, whenever you're ready! What a laugh. That was fast.
Hey, Lucky. Yes? Say cheese. Okay, Lucky girl, you ready? Okay, come on. Thanks, Lucky. Look here. Look here, you guys. Should I be doing these tricks? Or no? Dangerous? You think you should? I, you think I should? <laughs> this is a good idea, Trix. Yeah, it's a very good idea. It is? What if I break all my gear? Uh, Will you laugh? No. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> One, two, three. No! Oh! <laughs> My camera, I'll be really sorry. Ooh. Oh, that was fun. Oh, man. Thanks for joining me on this photo vlog, everyone. It's certainly something that I've always wanted to do. And I hope I've encouraged you to do a photo walk of your own and add to your quarantine routine. I'd also love to know what are some of the things that keep you occupied and active during these times by sharing your comments in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you'd know of future uploads, and please share to folks who might enjoy it as well. Many many thanks if you have. Thanks for watching, keep safe everyone, and see you next time.